Hello everybody and welcome. It's been a couple weeks, but we are back in the game and we're going to take a look at the market and then look for something to trade. So if you've been away for the last couple weeks like I have, you've seen the market has pretty consistently been going up. The last week it kind of stayed in a range, but for the most part you can see essentially for the last six months it's been going on an up, uphill trend. That's the S&P 500. The Qs look fairly similar. They took a dive the last week, but again, if you look at the whole week, they kind of started and stopped at the same place. The only one that's still a little bit different is the IWM. You can see it's been bouncing around a lot, but even now it's starting to catch up and kind of near its highs as well. So what are we going to trade? Well, it's actually earnings season now, so we're going to learn a new skill on how to trade earnings. So let's go to Google. We use the Google L symbol for Google. There's two of them, but Google L is usually the more liquid of the two. If you go over here on this trade platform, it tells you earnings are on, what's that, Tuesday after market close. Okay, perfect. So here's how earnings trades work. We put them on in like the last 30 minutes of the market before it closes. So in this case, the earnings are going to be Tuesday after market close. So about 30 minutes or less before the market closes, we're going to put this trade on. When the market opens up on Wednesday morning, after earnings have taken place and the move has happened, we close the trade in the first 15 to 30 minutes of the market opening as well. So we open it in the last 30, we close it in the first 30 of the day after earnings. Now you can see here, volatility has been shooting up and that's because earnings is coming. If you look at earnings in the past, you'll see the same thing. Volatility spikes during earnings because we don't know what's going to happen. And volatility is a measure of uncertainty, right? We don't know. So every earnings season, you're going to see volatility shoot up. So as far as Google, here's where we're at. It's kind of mid-range, but not important for what we're going to do. If we go to the trade page, when we trade earnings, we always trade the shortest expiration cycle available. In Google, right here, you can see it's five days left. Tomorrow is four. Um, and then on Tuesday, it'll be three. So this will be three days at the time we do this. What we want to do is we want to work out the what they call the market maker move or the expected move. Now, on this platform, it tells you right now the expected move is $6.70 roughly. And what that's telling you is up or down. So at 120, it's saying it's expecting the move to be up to let's say 126.70 or down roughly seven dollars to 113. That's the expected move and the range is a plus or a minus. So again it's like 113 to 127 is the range they're expecting for earnings as of right now. So if we open this up, if your platform doesn't have this available and a lot of them don't, another easy way to figure out roughly, it's not going to be exact, but we figure out roughly the expected move is we sell the straddle and the straddle is just selling the call and the put right at the stock price or as close as we can. So the stock price is 120. Now again, the market is closed, so these numbers aren't going to be accurate either, but this is it. We're selling the call and the put at the 120 strike and we see this is $7.30. So quick rough math, never exact, but you want to get ballpark is we take the straddle price, which is 730, we multiply it by 0.85, and I think we end up around 620-ish or so is what this gives us. So this isn't exact, but you can see it's pretty close, right? It puts this in the ballpark. So you can kind of cushion it a bit. So if this was 620 anyways, as a guy trading, I'd go like, well, I'm gonna leave myself $7 on either side. So what that looks like when we do the trade is we wanna go up or down at least seven dollars to get away from the expected move so let's do this remember seven dollars up seven dollars down puts us at 113 and 127 so if we're creating an iron condor that's what we want to do we want to make sure that our iron condor is at least at the expected move or greater so 113 on the downside and we'll make this a two dollar wide iron condor 127 on the upside and we make this a two dollar wide iron condor and go to 129 and there we go this is our if if earnings was happening right now and we we're making this trade before market closed this is how we would set it up it's 120 we're expecting about a seven dollar move up and down so we're going seven dollars away on the put side seven dollars away on the call side 
and then creating a $2 wide iron condor. Now, when it comes to the credit for an earnings trade, this is not, not the official rules. We don't do the 33 to 50 cents per dollar width, that kind of thing. That does not play into this because it's a one day trade. So if this was 50 cents, if this was a dollar, it doesn't matter. It's whatever you are actually comfortable with, like how much are you willing to risk for the potential reward because this is a one day trade. This is all or nothing. It's either going to be a winner or a loser. So, for example, if we make this trade for earnings, it's 80 cents. So we can make 80 cents. We can lose 120 bucks, right? Two dollars width with the strikes minus the credit leaves us the max potential loss. So we're risking $120 to make 80 and it's pretty much an all or nothing kind of trade. It's either going to be successful or it's not. There's not a lot of room left because only like two days left on this thing when it's done on this trade. So it's kind of again an all or nothing. It's a high risk, high reward trade. Earnings is high risk, high reward. It pays off quickly or you lose quickly. But that is how you set up an earnings trade. So if you want to do Google on Tuesday afternoon, again, in the last 30 minutes of the market closing, we're going to look at the stock price. If everything is exactly the same, we're going to look at the market maker or expected move. Again, we can do it by using the straddle as well. We're going to go up and down $7 to the expected move in this case, make a $2 wide iron condor. And as long as we're comfortable with the credit received compared to the risk, if this was 50 cents, we can make 50 and lose 150. Are you happy with that? Totally your choice at that time. But that's how you set up an earnings trade and that is how we make them. Hello everybody. Just a quick break in the action here to make you all aware of the courses I have available on Udemy, which are these five. But more importantly to let you know that these three right here are a three-part series. So if you're anywhere in the mix here, now you know that understand options completely is part one, basic option strategies is part two, and make and manage is part three. So you can start or continue at any level you like. The bottom two here can be taken at any time. They are just independent courses. If they interest you, please go ahead and take them. So you've got some knowledge now, and we know knowledge is power. But really, knowledge is only power if you use it. Otherwise, it's useless. So how do you take all this option trading knowledge and turn it into actual income? And the only way to do that is by actually trading options. As someone that's gone through the process, I know that making real trades is scary for many reasons. Not the least of which is, where do I even start? I mean, there's so many roadblocks to making trades. What stock should I trade? What direction should I choose? Which options am I buying or selling? The list seems endless, which is exactly why I created my option income alert system. So don't you think you'd be a little bit more comfortable and confident if I was right there by your side making trades with you? Well, now I will be there with my real-time alerts. You'll trade side-by-side -side with me in real-time as I tell you what trade to make, why we're making the trade, and more importantly, how to make the trade correctly. But making the trade's only half the battle. When to close the trade is just as important, so you'll get those closing alerts as well. Listen, you've got the knowledge now, so let's put it to use. So how do we turn your knowledge into actual income with as little risk as possible? Well, the way we do that is by offering up the option alert for only $1 for the first month. Now, the option alert itself is going to send out two to three trades in real time as I make them via text or email directly to you. And as I close these trades, you'll also get those closing alerts in real time as well. Now, if you want an even better opportunity, the Option Pro, which is the exact same alert service as the option income, offers up all the content I've ever made, courses, webinars, etc., over $2,000 worth of options courses for only $19 for the first month. So the way we're going to sign up for either of these is by going to sharpertrades.com, clicking on the product section. Both of these alerts will show up. Depending on which one you prefer, you'll type in these coupon codes and you'll either get the option alert for a dollar for the first month or the option pro for only $19 for the first month. Look forward to seeing you all over there soon. Take care.